Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with another In the Car review. I know this angle looks like a bit of a horror movie, like I'm about to run somebody over. But, I've tried this a couple of times, I think after this video I'm going to show a few takes when I put the camera and it fell down and stuff. But I just got out of seeing the John Cusack film, The Raven. Now when I think of, you know, characters playing Poe, I always think of um, Jeffrey Combs. I think John Astin plays Edgar Allan Poe a lot. You know, there's certain people like, you know, John Cusack is not the person you think Poe when you think him. And he looked okay. I mean, the goatee, I don't know if he's ever had a goatee in a movie. Not that I'm aware of. And it looked a little bit, like, overly black, like it was dyed black or black or something. I don't know. He, I mean, he did good. I mean, after a while, you kind of got used to him as doing that. It did have, like, those sort of, you know, that dialogue... That I don't even, you know, who knows if people actually really did talk with all those weird terms back then. Or not like those, Strum Dibberly and all that, you know, like Poe was saying all that stuff. Which kind of came across a little bit more funny. Because when you watch stuff like Ravenous and some of those other kind of period movies, they're not talking like that, but Poe was like all that st I don't know. But the basic idea, though, is there's a, someone who is killing in the style and basically emulating um, all the writings of Edgar Allan Poe. And the police end up, you know, going to him to try and see what he knows. Basically, they're questioning him at first, maybe thinking he's involved in it, and trying to get his help on, you know, what, you know, if they can, you know, if he can help figure out what the hell's going on. And, you know, sorry there's a lot of extra space, but, you know, you could do this, I guess, in the shot. But, um, you know, it's a different angle. But, um, you know, basically, but then at the same time, Poe's girlfriend, who's played by the actress who was in ATM, which is on video on demand. I think it'll be on Blu-ray soon. That was really, really good. ATM, and she was in a couple other things. I think she was in um, some that one movie about the about that the guys and then they liked the girl and the, he, the one liked the girl and stuff. Can't remember what it was. Something's got to give. Something like that. But um, this really was. You know, it was okay. It was one of those movies where I'm like sort of sitting there at first, kind of like when I was in Anonymous, thinking, why am I seeing this? You know. It was a little bit boring in a couple parts, but it wasn't horrible. I mean, I did like it. It had the same kind of feel as things like From Hell and things like that. It really wasn't awful or anything like that. It really was okay. Like, out of, like, out of rating, I'd probably say, you know, out of, I'm going to say out of 10, because people were suggested doing that, out of 10, maybe 5 or so. You know, it was an interesting kind of idea and interesting kind of way of taking, kind of like Anonymous did, with making it kind of like if all this stuff really was happening to Poe, because no one really knows how he died and things like that. Um, unless, you know, because I don't know a whole lot of details about Poe. My dad did do a graphic novel where he did the pictures called In the Shadow of Edgar Poe. But, um, you know, all in all, though, it was interesting. The one thing that was kind of weird was, and I know I said this a lot, when their, their pendulum death, when they did that, it was a cool sequence, but the way they did it, you know, it was just... It was all like that After Effects CG blood where it was like all, you know, it was like the mouth blood and things like that were real. But then it was all this. And all, a lot of the other deaths were real practical. But then that, and you can do that with the space like putting a head. I mean, I just know from watching stuff and throughout the years of how you do that stuff. So I don't know exactly why they chose to do it that way. But um, other than that, you know, this one of those kind of movies where I would say, you know, you don't have to see it in theaters. And it's, you know, it's, it's interesting um, but it's nothing absolutely amazing, like you've got to see it. I did end up liking it a lot more than I thought I was. So all, all in all, I would say it's definitely worth checking out, but nothing outstanding. Um, and John Cusack did do a pretty good job. Um, he's not, like, like I said, not the first choice who I would say for Poe. And, you know, some of it was a little over the top, especially like when he was screaming during one scene. Just a little, little over the top with a couple sequences. But... You know, all in all, I think it's worth seeing. Nothing amazing. So anyway, though, I'll see you guys later. And I'm not sure what the next review is. I'm sure I'll probably see Avengers because everybody wants me to. I don't think I'm going to rush to it, though. I, you know, out of all the superhero things, I'm really more interested in seeing the second Dark Knight. I don't know, I always liked the Batman films more. Like, even as a child, that was more what I watched. And I think I watched that in, like, the Flash TV movies, I think. But anyway, though, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here doing another one of the In the Car Review. Oh shit!